Welcome back. Let's now look at a case study of a database design for a car rental system. So this is to just to demonstrate how you can do a database design with a entity relationship. Uh, okay, first you need to create the entity relationship diagram. Uh, that's the logical model, and then um, a logical model in the sense you need to have the appropriate uh, uh, constraints um, uh, constraints created and uh, then ER diagram need to be then converted into a shell script and then these uh, not the shell script I mean uh, the SQL statements um, for creation of uh, the objects respective tables and these scripts needs to be done um, these scripts needs to be executed I would say executed in the relational database so that you get a physical model that is what is mentioned the first is it is given the business rules the next one is you need to draw a logical diagram which is basically the uh, entity relationship diagram with appropriate um, relationship and uh, then you need to have the sql script the objects creation script and finally you need to execute into the uh, database as well um, so that's where the complete exercise will get over so if you look at it, um, it'll, I think it has about uh, six to seven uh, entities with appropriate attributes needs to be created. Um, and uh, then these attributes needs to be linked. So if you look at it, some of them, uh, most of them, if you look at it, uh, are uh, masters, masters in the sense a car, yes, a car is a master data because it will have its own attributes entity, no doubt it's an entity and that entity will have all these attributes uh, like all these attributes over here and model is a small entity and you have um, a make and associated with the sorry a model with associated make you have a make id and a make name uh, and then uh, you have an option um, maybe associated the option is something like power steering uh, gps sunroof etc etc so each uh, maybe you could uh, maybe option one could co come with a normal steering, a base model, and option two might have a power steering and a DVD, and option three will have power steering, DVD, and sunroof, and option four could be all of them. So different options for a car could also be there. And then comes yes, policy. Each insurance uh, car is supposed to have an insurance policy that is mandatory uh, in almost all countries. So car will have a policy and um, a car will be associated only pol one policy and only when it expires you it, it has to go for another policy and uh, who issues that policy yes it has to be an insurance company so insurance company will have all the details and you need to uh, link insurance company with the insurance id and finally that insurance id need to be linked with the car so the insurance id in the uh, insurance policy uh, table will be the primary key and uh, when it goes to the car um, it is linked to the car with the foreign key the insurance id and um, then you have the rental customer customer is again an entity it's a master data customer has all the details and customer will have transactions um, i mean he can rent out the car which is a transaction uh, he can rent out the car and you create a transaction table uh, so that the transaction table will have whenever a customer takes a car on rent it goes into the transaction table so you know like uh, you'll have a uh, rental date here it is should, should be null initially date return when it goes into the transaction it will be null and once um, when they return it they will have an appropriate uh, date affix and the payment will get calculated these are all the front end calculations you can have or you can have PL SQL code block but that is not the objective designing of the front end is not the objective as such it is only because uh, this is only about the database design that is what we are going to um, create and finally yes um, once you create the appropriate um, ER diagrams uh, with the appropriate SQL just think over whether you are able to um, I mean you are able to run these queries on the database so once you know that yes all these could be retrieved then yes uh, you execute the script in the database so that you can retrieve the information 
so that is the um, kind of a hands on case study so you can uh, try it out maybe i think it comes about uh, 6 to 7 entities with attributes with the relationship with a primary key and a foreign key relationship think over it and how to do it and uh, then we will look out for the solution now i have opened the data modeler so logical model is first we need to build so we need to have the first uh, new entity um we'll say this as xx car um that is the first one we need to create and we need to create uh, the associated attributes over here so whatever is the attribute uh, you can refer to the um to this one and create the attribute like car id car registration year year manufactured transmission all this uh, need to be created so we will create that uh, first is uh, of course um the car id we need to create so we'll say car id and that will be a primary uid so logical and i'll say var car of uh, var car of 20 i'll say our car size is 20 uh, or i'll say 10 and apply say okay so uh, this is car id is created and similarly you need to uh, create the others as well so you can refer to this one that is car registration number um, all this uh, you create car registration for example uh, you can create the registration number as well car uh, registration nation number and that is of course logical and uh, I'll say var car. Um, so var car. Of, again, um, this is to be twenty, and this is a registration number. Yeah, if you want, you can have it as uh, mandatory. Uh, yes, you need to have. Um, that is, of course, the mandatory. So since car ID is already primary key, uh, then we can have the registration number as mandatory. Um, car number is of course going to be unique. So apply and say okay. So you need to create the rest as well. Um, so just for uh, reference, yes, you can create uh, the all the other attributes as well for car. And the next one, if you look at it, it's uh, the model model ID and model name model is an entity along with the attributes so if you took uh, if you want to have a relationship over here it's uh, each model id um, will be linked to a particular car so one model id to one car so it's it's linked one on one so you, you will not have a single car with multiple mo model id meaning if you take one car yes it will have only one model a car cannot have um if you're owning a car that car will belong to a one particular model but whereas you have different models of car so a relationship will be a one on one over here so one one whatever is that yes so so model id to a car so from car could be the source and then um, you take it to the model okay uh, let me recheck again here okay so now um, you see the relationship is uh, car apply and say okay so you have a relationship over here and um, then what you could do is view uh, view details it could be backman so that way it shows the primary key as well so view over here view details uh, backman you should backman notation so that way it shows what is the primary key over here um, which gets linked car id uh, is the primary key and model id is the primary key over here so that is the relationship of course you need to uh, create um, all the other 
attributes in each one of them that is a very important so create a, then a model you have a make make will have make id uh, needs to have a kind of a link to the model over here and similarly then you need to create uh, the insurance the ins for the insurance policies and um, then each car will have a policy id that policy id will be associated with only one car one car not one policy will not be uh, even though there could be a group policy but generally each individual car will have um, a particular policy id an individual car and um, you have an insurance company an insurance company can issue uh, many policies but for one car it is going to be one policy so so refer to the uh, this document and you need to create uh, the appropriate um, entity relationship uh, the diagrams with all of the entity so do that think it over and do how it does uh, how you are going to um, create so it's all up to you uh, solution might slightly vary um, with each of each of uh, whatever you have created that is fine but again uh, only thing is you need to have a good understanding that is important these are subjected to um, modification any whether it is database design and because based on the database design you are going to have your own applications developed so when the application developer is going to develop then there could be further refinement happens but the point which is very important is that you need to know how to create um, the logical model with the entity relationship uh, diagram so that that can get converted into a uh, sql scripts for creation of the objects in the database which is called the physical model so think it over and create rest of them as well thank you stay tuned continue creation of the entity relationship uh, diagram in the presentation earlier presentation i showed just for a core with along with the attribute few attributes i took and uh, then linked it with a model so you need to continue this creation of uh, the other entities and attributes and then you need to have a relationship so that will give you a logical model something similar to this uh, you create something similar to this and ensure that you are uh, logical diagram is beckman notation not the barker notation because with barker notation you will not see that uh, primary and foreign key relationship what is the primary key and foreign key relationship so in that way you need to get into the beckman so in that case it will give you the primary key and the foreign key relationship and it will create the appropriate uh, joins with the table condition because when you uh, get into the physical model want to create the scripts uh, you will know uh, what are the um, additional columns which is going to get which is a foreign key it will automatically create that you can you can also uh, do a print uh, you do a pdf um, you will store in your local computer so you want to circulate then you need to have this option save it and send it across so and if you if you go here yes um, this is a car model and you have all the tables which are created so this shows you um, all the join condition so the one step we have done which is the uh, logical model um, with the relationship we have done and then you need to uh, generate so that you have the uh, appropriate physical model so we'll uh, progress further on that uh, as well so the next step is uh, to generate the relational model so to do that uh, come over here uh, there will be engineer to relational if you see that uh, pop up over here it says uh, engineer to relational model so click on that uh, this we have uh, discussed earlier then uh, you say um, if you want you can see that what it all this entity in the relational model it becomes a table all this entities becomes a table so then you say engineer so this gives the um, relational model car model um, and uh, you create so the logical model and this is the relational model which means it will the tables will get created with this one and how do we get the scripts so to get these scripts sql scripts um, get to view and ddl editor is there get to ddl editor and uh, this fine uh, database or whatever and then say generate 
so say okay and uh, this will generate so all the table you have the all the table script you have the constraints uh, everything is here so all you need to do is um, take this take the copy paste the scripts uh, and then execute in the database and once you execute in the database that is where you get a physical model so so far it's called first step is the logical model where it is entity um, relationship with the attributes i mean entity along with the attribute and then create a relationship and then uh, you have the relational model the second step and finally when you generate you get the scripts generated and this scripts needs to be executed in the database and then you have the tables along with the constraints you get the constraint and then yes uh, you can populate with the data and then run the sequels as well so that is the subsequent steps or once the physical database is created then you can ask the application developer to develop the application on these tables so the next step we'll take the scripts and then execute in the database as well and see what happens thank you the next step is uh, yeah you need to just select all and um, then so if you look at it these are sql statement create table so if you are good in sql you will understand uh, this is uh, data definition language uh, ddls so you create all the objects table uh, indexes all of them gets created uh, constraints everything gets created on its own so copy this uh, in a notepad and then um, you need to have a database physical database you need to have connections to the, that database and that database you have to execute so you can use the uh, sql developer or from the sql plus you need to access the database and then run the scripts on that database and then you get a physical model so now I will open the SQL developer. I have a cloud autonomous uh, database. On this, I'm going to execute that script. So let's see that. Now I have opened the SQL developer, Oracle SQL developer from the, I, op I mean, I closed the modeler and uh, because that is for modeling. And then with the SQL developer, I'm going to execute and I have a database over here. So, yeah since i control the database i use the admin uh, username though it is not recommended you need to get into uh, your own schema and then create all the tables here um, just for demonstration i'm using the admin itself so give the password appropriate uh, password with which you have created because i have created the database so it's not an uh, issue because i control it but generally um, this is not the case it is uh, the DBAs who create the database and they provision it accordingly. For now, it is uh, only one table the DB tool is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute uh, the entire uh, script, um, which is over here. So select all the script. And uh, then uh, you have to paste it and then uh, you got to execute it um, so it has all the tables along with the joint i mean along with the various uh, constraints um, it will create because if you look at it if it has a customer um, with the primary key all this because we are using the modeler but generally uh, if you're not using the modeler you have to create but since we have used the modeler uh, since you have created the ER diagram with the joint condition with the primary and foreign key relationship, it does on its own. So you need to just uh, execute the entire uh, scripts. So it says, uh, if you see here, uh, it gets created, all the um, uh, table gets created. And again, uh, some of them uh, will try to add, um, add recreate a constraint. That's where you you get um, uh, all these uh, um, uh, errors but anyway so if you just check over here and refresh check whether all the tables are created these tables uh, are already created when you execute the scripts and now since you have um, created you can insert appropriate uh, data uh, say for example in this one if you look at it there is uh, in, no data over here you can if you want uh, you can insert um, one maybe just a data 
option and um, then you have the option name i'll say power steering uh, these are again X sql any description this is uh, option one and uh, then you say commit changes so commit is successful it has uh, um, it has inserted this data so you can create your own data but ensure that you have the appropriate relationship so if you look at um, look at over here and then you say uh, select star from xx underscore option So it gives the output whatever we have inserted so you have to insert the data um, but that is based on the relationship so if there is a relationship um, if there is a foreign relationship and you need to ensure that because when i want to insert into the car table the option then the insurance all these are mandatory fees in the car so all this data needs to be populated either you insert or the application developer during the course of application he has to have appropriate um, logic so that the data gets inserted into the this table first that is option table insurance um, insurance company name could be a master table customer could be a master table uh, you you will have different forms front end forms on which the data need to be inserted and then finally the car table references the option table insurance table you have the appropriate data inserted and then the data into the car table gets inserted and based on this then you perform the rental transactions when you take the car on rent customer takes a car on rent then um, this data gets um, populated that is the transactions when you do a rental um, for the car that data gets populated into the transaction so i hope by this you have a clarity as how we created the entity relationship diagram first and from the entity relationship uh, diagram we had created the relational model and from the relational engineer to relational model and then from there on we got the scripts and then from the scripts are taken and executed in the physical database to get the physical tables along with the uh, constraints is all created and then you insert either you insert through the sql statement ideally in an application um, the front end application through the forms the data gets uh, inserted the forms could be an apex um, oracle apex or any other front end tool appropriate front end application which will uh, create the appropriate logic to insert the data into the tables i hope uh, with this case study you have an understanding so then yes we'll briefly see that once the data is there in the tables then the final step is that um, uh, you are able to satisfy all these joins i'll just take an example one example because i just inserted uh, just a row so that uh, because this table to list all the cars insured uh, with a specific uh, insurance company that means uh, you need to have the insurance policy the insurance uh, name and the car table it has to have a join condition uh, and then retrieve the data that is totally you need to be good in sequels as well the uh, the select statement or insert statement so yes for this one to list you need to be good in the select statement because there's going to be a join condition between the three tables and to retrieve the data so that we will briefly see uh, here as well now that uh, the table is created yes you need to insert the data i just uh, for an example i inserted just one record into the car table but uh, the car table has uh, a primary key plus the foreign key relationship uh, with uh, because a car is supposed to have an insurance and a car is supposed to have a specific model specific option and um, yes the insurance company details are in one table and in another table you have the appropriate uh, insurance each insurance to a specific car a car can have only one insurance so if you look at it it is something like uh, uh, three tables are to be joined and to retrieve the data uh, of uh, a car with a specific insurance company so that is what uh, it needs to be so just if you look at it uh, i just uh, for example um, if you look over here uh, 
okay so you have you have so you have the model you have the option you have the insurance these are references uh, from the model table you need to have data already in the model table and then you have to have the appropriate uh, options in the option table for the particular car and then the insurance um, and um, then there need to be a joint condition to execute it as well so if you look at it uh, this is the query with a join condition. We get the um, we get the registration number, company name from car table. The insurance table is what the company name is there, insurance company name, insurance policy, and then there is a join condition. Three tables needs to join, and then uh, you can execute it. So yeah, car registration number, which company uh, it is registered. Um, so yeah, this is just an example data. One day, only one data I have uploaded. So you can accordingly upload multiple data. I mean, insert. So this is if you want to insert the data. As I said, there is a front-end forms or application, just like any website. There is going to be forms application ERP system, which has a front-end and which has the logic necessary logic built-in, and based on the logic, data gets inserted into the appropriate column. But having said that, this is specific uh, to the database uh, modeling and design. Um, the focus is uh, is on how to model the database so that it can be used in the application development. I hope uh, the case study was quite useful in understanding the database design as well. Thank you.